Good afternoon and welcome to the very first broadcast of Position Sizing, my personal views on the market. Before we start, I caution you to invest at your own risk. It may seem obvious, but I don't share in any of your profits, so I don't share in any of your losses. Today I want to focus on a chart that shows the percentage of S&P 500 stocks trading above their 50-day moving average. It's a simple concept. When you boil it down, this indicator shows market sentiment. How bullish or bearish are investors on common stocks? I first read about this indicator in Tom Dorsey's book on point and figure charting. And if you want to read more about it, that's a good place to start. As you can see, yesterday we closed at 78%. That's a healthy number. Sounds quite bullish, right? But what does it mean? I have studied the behavior of this indicator going back many years, and this is what I have discovered. During uptrends, major corrections often find support in the 20 to 25 percent range. I have labeled this as the support zone on the chart. As a corollary to that, when you see the percentage pierce the 20 to 25 percent range to the downside, that marks the start of a new downtrend. On the other hand, during downtrends, major rallies often find resistance at the 70 to 75, I'm sorry, the 75 to 80 percent range. Likewise, and as you can see, I, I've labeled that as the resistance zone on this chart. Likewise, when the percentage blasts through the resistance zone, as it did in the first part of 2009, it marks the start of a new uptrend. So let's review this chart. We see that we blasted through the 20 to 25 percent zone in the fall of 2007, marking a new downtrend. We came up to the resistance zone, had a drop off, came back up to the resistance zone, drop off, came back up to the resistance zone, and one final drop off before we started our new uptrend in early 2009. Found support in the summer of 2009. Found support at the support zone again in early 2010. Before we broke through the support zone and started a new a downtrend in the May time frame. Since that time, we've come up and tested the 70 to, uh, 75 to 80 percent resistance zone a couple of times and we're at 78 percent as of yesterday. What's uh, another interesting aspect of this is if you draw cycles on this particular chart, you can see that the three uh, tests of the resistance zone during the 08, uh, 07 08 downtrend occurred um, at equal time intervals. And if we just draw another cycle, uh, starting here with the first test of the support zone in 2009, we can see that the support zone is working on a cycle as well. And we are right now at the time where you would expect uh, a reversal to occur uh, at the resistance zone. So what does this 78% mean? Given that we are in a downtrend, to me, it means that we are probably overbought and heading south soon. That forecast would change if we see this percentage climb to the 85 to 90 percent range, signaling a new uptrend. Until next time, happy trading.